going on YouTube? It's another episode of Horror Life, and today we're talking all about Chucky comic books. You know who I am, and if you know what's good for you, you are going to love, honor, and obey. Yes, that's right. Yes, that's what he said. 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 Yes,
and I'm thinking that that's probably referencing Psycho. And then in the middle, we've got a hand, which to me, I'm saying that references probably Creature from the Black Lagoon. If anybody out there is watching this and, and knows what these teeth are supposed to reference, let me know because I'm not sure what the heck that is supposed to reference. And I show you like how it starts out. The drawings are really cool. I mean, this is an awesome issue. See, like it shows here, you know, J uh, him, him, him becoming the doll and everything. There's references where, you know, he's uh, like, like this, this part right here. He's talking about, well, it's a good thing I don't have to take a piss. You know, it's really cool. And the crazy thing is, like, if so, if you're so into the Chucky movies, and you can hear Chucky's voice in your head when he talks, when you're reading the actual you know, the little bubbles of what he's saying, you can actually hear Brad Dorf, uh, you know, Dorf's uh, um, voice in your head actually speaking the words. Basically what the story is about is he leaves the factory, he almost gets run over by a car, and the guy driving the car is like a whore. He's like us. He loves whore, everything. He sees Chucky running down the street. He's like, hey, man, why don't you jump in my car? i help you out. He's like, oh, wow, shit, you're a doll. You know, he helps him out, everything, and, and, and then he takes him back to his uh, apartment, and he's like, you know, I'll help you out, and Chucky's telling him the whole story about how, you know, a voodoo guy put his soul into a doll, and he's like, you know, can you help me, anything? He's like, yeah, I might be able to help you out. So this guy invites a bunch of his friends over the house. Chucky gets pissed off because he's like, why would you tell people about me? And he's like, well, my girlfriend is into voodoo, witchcraft, and all that. And I'm thinking that maybe we can have like a seance and we can talk to Dr. Death, you know, the guy that puts you in the body. So Chucky seems cool with it. So he invite, invites all his friends over. Chucky just sitting on the bed and he's like, yeah, yeah, what are we going to do? We're going to talk about it, everything. So uh, some of the other friends are like, hold up, you know, maybe we shouldn't trust this doll because, you know, he, he's killed people in the past and framed people for the murder. And then the other guys are like, oh, no, we got to help him. We got to help him. So basically, they build a pentagram. Dr. Death shows up and tells the people that Chucky is an evil demon and they have to kill him. So they're running all over the house because they're scared of shit because this demon came out. And then everybody forgets, like, well, where the heck is Chucky at? Chucky, Chucky, we can't find him. He's not upstairs. He's not downstairs. And there's not too much gore in this episode. I'm sorry, in this issue, <laughs> it is kind of like an episode, right? But Chucky just kind of pops out of the shadows. There he is right there. He pops out of the shadows, and he just starts banging shit up. He starts killing people. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there's really cool, because there's a lot of uh, references to horror films. Like, there's a scene right here where he kills a guy in the shower, and, you know, that's referencing, you know, Bates Motel. Um... There's also, I don't want to spoil the entire uh, issue for you in case you guys want to try it out, but there's another issue, there's another part right here where he's actually got like a Freddy Krueger glove. He comes out of nowhere with a Freddy Krueger glove and he just like, he slices people up, everything. And all the way, you get to the end of the show, the, the end of the episode, or the end of the <laughs> um, comic book, and you see that there's like this government agent, and the government agent is talking to Karen Barclay who is now in a psychiatric hospital. And he's basically letting her know that, you know, we think that maybe you were telling the truth because there's been a string of murders and everybody says that a doll did it. So that's episode one. That's issue one of uh, Innovation's 1991 comic book. Issue two uh, is basically, I don't want to spoil too much of this issue, you know what I mean? But... It starts out pretty much with the cops. I don't know if you guys remember the cop. Mike was the cop. He had a partner, the guy with the mustache. I will spoil one thing for you guys. And that is that in this issue, Mike and his partner, the guy with the mustache, the no-name guy, apparently they're living together and they're gay lovers. I don't know, but they're gay lovers. Uh, if you remember, cool little fact, uh, the guy that played Mike in Child's Play movie was Chris Sarandon. And he's also the guy that does the voice of Jack Skellington 
and Nightmare Before Christmas series, or the movie. And uh, there's a lot of references in this issue also. This issue has the same writer as the first issue. I think the first issue, yeah, the writers, the writers for all five issues is Andy Mangels. Mangels, Mangels, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. But uh, for the first, for the first, for the second issue, the, the guy that does the, 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 the drawings, his name is Rain Saransky. And in issue first, it's Paul Calamilli. Calamilli? Yeah, something like that. Um, you know, issue two and issue three is more of like a DC Comics type of like detective comics from back in the day. It's really oldish looking. But the storyline is just great, man. It's really, really great. It, it, and it's so funny because these these issues are so old. There's even like a, a bonus story inside. I don't know if you guys are science fiction fans, but there's a bonus section inside of uh, Lost in Space. Remember that show? Lost in Space? Yeah, it's really, really cool. Um, I don't want to spoil it too much for you guys because I know you guys are probably going to go on eBay and try to find these issues. Uh, issue 3, I will show you one really cool thing about Issue 3. Um... Innovations, I guess originally they wanted to do five issues all together in a storyline, but it, they kind of took too long releasing these issues. So after issue three, they kind of rushed issue four and issue five. Um, at the end of issue three, on the back of it, there's actually a coming soon advertisement for Child's Play 3. And it's kind of cool because if you look at the bottom, it says coming soon. And it says, Child's Play 3, Chucky Goes Ballistic. And that's really cool, man. Like, I really want this poster on the wall. I think that would be really cool. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know what I'm saying? Let me know if anybody has uh, issue 4 and 5. I would love to, you know, hear about those. Um, let me know what you guys think about these comic books. Um, I have some other Chucky comics that I will do in another episode. But, uh... Let me know what you guys think. As usual, subscribe, like, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Much love to my subscribers. Adios. Thanks for watching, YouTube. As always, like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. Right? Hi.